This guide shows you how to import a CD into iTunes. This is ideal if you want to put a CD or some songs onto your iPhone, iPod or iPad. First of all, open iTunes. Please note when you open iTunes, it may take a while before it opens. Please be patient. Okay, so my iTunes has finally opened. So what we do next is we just put the disc that we want to uh, copy into iTunes into our CD, which uh, should be built into the computer or laptops. But please note some laptops no longer come with CD drives. If yours doesn't have one, then you can purchase an external USB drive. So we put the disc inside the computer. Um, we wait a few moments. Please note it can take from a few seconds to a minute or so to uh, recognize the, uh, the disc. <clears throat> so it's just come up on my computer. It's detected it's an audio CD. And there we go. It now says, would you like to import the CD and it will give you the title. Well, this is a, uh, a CD entitled More Hot Rocks, Big Hits and Phased Cookies, disc one, um, which is by the Rolling Stones. So it's asking us, do we want to import this into our iTunes library? So I simply left click yes. Okay, this will now start to import the CD into iTunes. As you can see up the top here, it tells us what track it's importing now. If there are any tracks that you don't want to import, you can remove the tick next to the track. So say for instance, I didn't want the second track to be imported, I could untick that and there you go. It's now skip the second track and uh, importing the last time. Uh, or say if I didn't want the last few tracks, I can just click on the ticks just to get rid of the ticks but if I change my mind at any time I can uh, click on the box the empty box to the left of the title and put the tick back which means it will copy that uh, particular track I think once it's passed that track like for instance I couldn't click the box next to not fade away it just would not accept it but there you go that sign tells me that um, it's now imported into iTunes. If I want to import another CD into iTunes, I can eject the disc and just put the, the, the next disc into iTunes. To eject the disc, there's a little uh, eject button just here. If I click that, that should eject the disc for me. Or you can use the eject button built into the CD DVD player on your laptop or computer. And there we go, now you can see more Hot Rocks is now in my um, library and these are the tracks from that CD that I've imported. We can now plug our iPhone, iPad or iPod into the computer and allow it to uh, sync with the computer and it means these tracks will then go over to that device. Hope this helps.